All right. So that shot looked acceptable, I think, and uh, the purpose of this clip is to show you the open hand bridge like that. Pretty much, I like to say it's for beginners out there because the bridge is so important and a lot of people don't make it very far in pool just simply because they don't have a good bridge and there's really no reason for that. So, uh, you know, you can get by actually with just an open hand bridge. You can play world class pool with only an open hand bridge as evidenced by snooker players and I've never seen one use a closed hand bridge before and they're playing world class Q sport and they it seems like they play pool pretty well when they uh, take up pool. Their shot making is definitely awesome and the more they learn about the big cue ball they can uh, transfer their game over to the pool table without worrying about a closed hand bridge. So here let me show you how to do that. Basically, you start out, you make a fist. Okay, now put your thumb right here. You can either have it your thumb up like that or your thumb down. Now what you want to do is keeping your thumb tight right here. Open your fingers from this knuckle like that. So you want to maintain an angle right here. Don't do this. I, too many people to open up. Okay, so just put your thumb here, open your fingers to there, spread them like that. Your thumb could be up like that, or it could be tight like that. But now what you have is like a tent situation. And your fingers and the, the heel of your hand are going to go firmly on the table. So here we go. And you can adjust the level of your hand. When you bend more like that you can hit higher on the cue ball and this helps you get a lower strike on the cue ball for a draw shot. Alright now let's take it to the table over here. Okay now you can do different things with these fingers as well. You can put this one under. Doesn't matter you'll, you'll get a feel for it. Now you don't necessarily have to lower your bridge to the table to get a nice draw. So, so you could do this, you, you'll get a, a more level cue which is fine, but not necessary. You could, you could still have your normal bridge, normal height, and then raise your, your hand in the back and now you're automatically going to hit it lower as long as you follow through on that plane down into the table. Now for a follow shot with the open bridge, all you have to do is bring your hand down in the back and you can raise up your bridge depending on where it is. You bring your hand down which brings the tip up to the top of the cue ball. And when you follow through, follow through pretty much parallel to the table and you're going to get a really nice Top spin on that ball. Just control the speed so you land where you want to for your next shot.